Jason. So nice to see you again. Thanks for tuning in. Now listen, I've gotten some cool fan mail from some folks. I saw that Sebastian Crow made a really cool fort, kind of like Captain McGillicuddy showed us. And I also saw that the Rinkies, they made a really amazing hummingbird feeder. Yeah, they found it out of storage, they put some hummingbird food in there, and they hung it up just for their hummingbirds. So thanks so much for sharing. Hope you had a great week, and I'm glad that you're tuning in. Now, before we get any further, it is time for our fun, amazing workout with Coach Phil. That's right. Time to get up on our feet so we can go, you chicken fat, go. Take it away, Coach Phil. Good morning. Hands on hips, please. Now then, touch your toes with me. Ready. Touchdown. Up to every morning. Down. Ten times. Not just. Now and then. Four. Up Ten times now. Five. Feet up. 
up. Quickly, quickly next. Inhale arms, sweep up inward. Exhale arms out and down. Inhale arms, sweep up inward. Exhale outward down. Ready, inhale, slow. Every morning, exhale. clear down. Inhale, take the air. Bend the elbow and run in place. Ready. Ready. Run. Running. Two. Run. Just like, like a tortoise. Okay. Too far. And too slow. Now double up. Ready. Run. Two, three, four. 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 Run. love doing that workout. I hope you would like doing it too. And like I said last week, Coach Phil is very proud of all of you who've been doing that workout every week. And some of you, I think, have been doing it even more than that. So good job. Now, I received an email from Jessa. Jessa was telling me about these bright blue waves that were happening right by where she lives in Huntington Beach, California. She said it was called bioluminescent. Now, I didn't know what that word meant, so I decided to ask Professor Lerner about that. So, Professor Lerner, can you teach us about bioluminescence? Oh, yeah, hello there. It is Professor Lerner. Now, of course, I can answer that for you. Those are called the gynophragulids. Yeah. Now, listen, what they are. They are marine little creatures. They are the plankton family. Yeah. When they are poked or touched, they, they emit flashes of light, kind of like a, a car alarm or something. Yeah. And that ends up being like a way for it to protect itself, but it also gives out this beautiful color. Yeah, well, Oh, it's because of the bioluminescence. It's a very beautiful session, okay? And, and, and when there's a whole bunch of the algae all together, well, then it releases even more. Yeah, yeah. I hope you like it. Keep your questions coming. Wow, pretty great. Thanks, Professor Lerner. It's always good to learn something new. And Jessa, thanks for sharing all about bioluminescence. Pretty cool stuff. Are you ready for today's book? I hope so. I hope that you liked last week's book, The Pirates Next Door. I really like that book. Well, today I'm going to read a book called The Three Ninja Pigs. Watch ya! Now, I think this is a very fun book because it takes a story a lot of us know. Have you ever heard or read the story of the three little pigs? Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Well, this book is just like the three little pigs. There they are, but it's a little bit different. So shall I read this book? Okay, I was hoping you'd say that. Let's give it a go. Once upon a dangerous time, a wolf loved to huff and to puff. He'd go around town and blow houses down till three little pigs cried, Enough! We've got to get rid of that bully. We're tired of letting him rule. We must put an end to this terrible trend. Let's train at that new ninja school. Pig One took beginner Aikido to learn a few basic techniques. He gained some new skills, but got bored with the drills and dropped out in less than two weeks. No, oh, there he is asleep on the floor. His brother, Pig Two, took jujitsu and learned how to block and to punch. When that wolf comes to knock, he'll be in for a shock. Kia! I will eat him for lunch. The teacher said, excellent progress, but pig son, you must study more. Pig two said, no way, sayonara sensei, I'm ready to settle a score. Huh. Pig three chose the art of karate and rose bright and early to train. She got in a groove and mastered each move, the cartwheel, the crescent, and crane. She bounced and blocked like an expert and practiced her lessons nonstop. By the time she was through, she could break boards in two by performing a perfect pork chop. Yeah. For months, she persisted in earnest until she had paid all her dues. How happy she felt when she earned her last belt. I'll make that wolf shake in his shoes. 
Soon after, the wolf paid a visit to the little straw house of Pig One. Stay out of my hut or I'll kick your big butt. I'm telling you, you better run. The wolf took a giant step forward. Oh yeah, come and get me, he dared. He swung, but he missed. I'd wish I'd been way more prepared. The wolf chased Pig One to his brothers and hollered, Hey, pigs, let me in. Pig Two yelled, Retreat, or you'll suffer defeat by the hair of my chinny-chin-chin. One puff and the wolf blew the door down. <sighs> pig Two did his best flying kick, but whoosh, the wolf dodged and the pig's foot got lodged. Oh, we've got to get out of here quick. Look at him go. The chase carried on to their sisters. Pig Three was outside in her G. I'm a certified weapon, so watch where you're stepping. You don't want to start up with me. Pig Three faced the wolf and bowed deeply, for ninjas are very polite. Quit huffing and puffing, and I am not bluffing. I warn you, I'm willing to fight. She then gave a swift demonstration with backflips and butterfly kicks. The wolf looked quite shaken, but hollered, Yo, bacon, I'm not all that scared of your tricks. Pig three heaped some bricks in a pile. I'll show you what else I can do. With one mighty whack, she split the whole stack. Pig three said, That could have been you. The wolf saw that he was outrivaled. He took one last look at Pig Three. I'd love to eat ham, but I think I should scram before she makes mincemeat of me. The brother pigs high-fived their sister and watched the wolf vanish from view. They cheered, ninjas rule, let's go back to school so we can be ninja pigs too. They devoted themselves to their training till each proudly earned a degree, three pigs full of mojo, then ran their own dojo, and life was forever wolf-free. And look at that. That's what all the various words mean. And that's the end of the book. Pretty cool, huh? I like that story. Now, when I was younger, I took karate. That's right. I got to learn karate when I was a younger kid, and I thought it was a lot of fun. It was pretty tough. I had to work out like Coach Phil has us work out, lots of push-ups, but I got to do a lot of really neat stuff. So I don't know if any of you know karate or jujitsu or anything like that, but it's a lot of fun to learn. All right, well, it's time for us to get creative. We're gonna do a bit of artwork. Jacques is back with us. I heard a few of you enjoyed some of the drawings he taught us last time. Well, Jacques is gonna teach a couple more drawings, so get out your paper and your pens or whatever you use, and let's see what Jacques is going to teach us. All right, Jacques, we are all yours. Bonjour, it is I, Jacques. Oh, your artwork was so beautiful last time. I thought I would teach you a few more things. Grab your pencils, grab your markers and things, and follow me without hesitation. <laughs> All right, you have your paper here. You've got your markers, your crowns, whatever you need. All right. Right now, we are going to make a fun little animal. Uh, you will use your marker like this, so your crowns. And on this part of the paper, you will simply take four fingers... And you will go around them like this, okay? And then you will turn the paper around and you will do the same thing, okay? There you go, like this, okay? Now you will kind of connect them uh, together. It is not perfect, but that is okay. That is the beauty of drawing. Now we are going to give it some eyes like this, okay? Uh, and then uh, we'll give it uh, some pupils, maybe we will do, uh, I don't know, kind of beady eyes will be good for this little creature. You can maybe guess what it is going to become. We'll give him some little eyebrows floating up here. And of course we have to give these two little kind of moon shape 
close up as you are too small, but that's okay. And then we'll give a smile for our little friend. Now, what I will do, maybe you can see what it is becoming. It is becoming a little crab. So you would want to color in all of these parts here. Uh, maybe it's around the eyes as well. You would cover, color them in nice and beautiful. I am doing really quick for you, but you get the idea you can just color around and you know, color all the way, all the way around the crab, make all of him nice and red, because crabs are nice and red, you know, and you can color in beautiful if you have more time and you color throughout, but here you got the, the, the makings of a little crab, huh? Okay, let us try something else now. All right, we'll do another sea creature perhaps. Now I take my hand, I put it down like this, and I'm going to start over here, and I'm going to draw around the fingers like so. That gives us the start of it. Now I'm going to give a little bit of a, a fin here, like so kind of, and then I'm going to continue this down this way, and I'm going to give a very large fin in the back. Now, again, does not have to be too perfect. We put a fin there, and we put a fin up there. Maybe you can start to see what it is looking like, huh? Can you tell? Well, we'll give it a bit more, we'll give it some little, you know, little gears on the side. And of course, we'll give it some uh, eyeballs here, maybe. That would be very nice. We'll kind of give him the little eyes like that. And maybe he has uh, eyebrows sticking up and we give him lots of teeth like so, because he is a shark. Maybe a couple of nostrils like this. Oh, look, he is a shark. He is a bit kind of on the chubby side. And we can take the colors and we can, of course, you know, we can color him all the way, uh, all the way around, you know. And if you have more time, then you can color nice and neat. But for this, I just show you real quickly. You know, you give him a nice blue color, maybe, or you can make him gray, or you can make him. Whatever color you want, you want to make this shark. Eh? But this gives you just an idea. And you could, if you would like to, you could draw little fishies around there. You could draw a little fishy or two, kind of swimming underneath as a Mr. Shark. Or maybe if you would like to be creative, there could be a, you know, a little, uh, you know, hook there with a little worm on it, huh? a little fisher's hook or something. You never know, but it's up to you. So there you go. So we've got our shark, we've got our crab, very nice, some underwater creatures for you to draw. Now, Forrest Brown, he enjoyed it last time when I drew something and had you guess. So, I will have you guess something here. I will draw a couple of characters. You can guess the movies as they are from. I will, first of all, I will draw uh, maybe a little girl here. She's got a a dress maybe, she's got some nice little hair and they will give her a bow and a little smile. Maybe she has a, a little apron and she's got her hands there, okay? Now I am going to draw another character. Uh, he has a very big hat like so and uh, maybe we give him some crazy eyes like this and they, a little bow tie that he's wearing, give him his little head there, there we go. And uh, you know, he's got the very big shoes, huh? This is starting to look like anything to you. Let me draw a couple more characters. We've got uh, these two, they are part of the same movie. They've got a little hair and they've got uh, bow ties as well. Uh -huh. And uh, they've got big eyes and they smile. Uh -huh, just like these uh, uh, arms and the legs, they are twins. Can you tell what movies they are from? Let me spell it out for you. It is, of course, Alice in Wonderland. Huh? There you go, of course. Uh, here we have Alice. There she is. Here we have uh, uh, the mad at the hour, uh, if you will. And then, of course, over here, we've got Twinkle, 
D and tweak through thumbs as they are. So I hope you were able to guess this beautiful drawing. Ha, ah, look at these crazy characters. I'm sure you can draw much better than me. All right, I will draw one more thing for you. I will use these stick figures just to show you how easy it is. For example, I will uh, I will draw, uh, let's see, right here. Da -da -da. Maybe this person has the nose and the hair. Hmm? There we go. And then I'm going to draw a little like that. Da -da. And da -da. like so. There's some shorts maybe. And a hand, uh, you can see, it is very simple, but here I have got a well, I've got a, a, a mother, perhaps, a mom, and then I've got the little uh, boy there, we, that is the son. Uh, we will say that is, uh, uh, that is of course, uh, the son, like so. And this is an example of making, you know, a happy Mother's Day card. Very easy, you see, you can make something like this, you can maybe put some hearts all around and you can easily make a beautiful card for your mother, uh, little boy, little girl or whatever you'd like. Uh, it's a nice way to make a card for your mother because Mother's Day is coming up so you can begin to make a masterpiece. Bravo, your artwork was seen on the feet. Thank you for joining me and remember, you can either keep your artwork for yourself or you can give it to someone that you love. Huh? Maybe send it to someone across the world. <laughs> Merci beaucoup. Au revoir. Ah, uh, that was a lot of fun. Thanks, Jock. Or should we say merci? Now, sometimes what I like to do with my drawings is I like to give it to someone who I care about. So I might give it to my mom or my dad, or I might give it to my sister. Or sometimes I like to put it in the mail and send it to someone who lives far away. So that's something you can do with your drawings, or you can make a special drawing just for them. Maybe even put a note on it. And I think that would be something really, really cool and really nice to do right now. All right, it's time for the joke of the day. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, here we go. <clears throat> what do you call cheese that does not belong to you? What do you call cheese that does not belong to you? Nacho cheese! <laughs> you get it? Nacho cheese? I love that joke. You've probably heard it before, but it's one of my favorites. And if you have a joke you want me to share, then please send it my way. <laughs> All right. Now, the last thing I wanted to do today is I wanted to use a feature that's on my phone. Now, phones sometimes include some neat backgrounds that you can use, and it can make you feel like you're somewhere completely different. So, we're going to try it. You ready to try it with me? Okay. Well, it looks like we're in the West. Oh, boy, my goodness gracious. There's all sorts of things going on. Oh, dear. That's right. This town ain't big enough for the two of us. yee -hoo. Oh, I uh, seem to be in uh, a place where there's lots of, lots of bugs around. Oh my! Oh, uh, very interesting. I feel, I feel a little small. I'm getting out of here. Yeah, how's it going? How you doing? Yeah, everyone doing okay? Yeah, I'm looking for, uh, looking for my motorcycle. Anyone see my uh, motorcycle anywhere? I'm looking for a motorcycle. Anybody? Eh, I guess I lost it. Oh well. Well, look at that. I'm, I'm in a, a drawing, kind of like a. Like a, a, a nice little Parisian area. I bet this is where Jacques lives. Oh, there goes a car. And now we seem to be in outer space. Outer space, look at all those planets, my word. Oh no, there's no, there's no air in outer space. <gasps> Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I always like to use my imagination, and I thought that was kind of a fun way to pretend that I was in different places. Well, thanks for joining me this week. I hope to see you next week. And remember, no matter where you are or what you're going through, you are loved, okay? You are loved. Well, thank you again. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Take care. Woo!